Hey everybody, welcome back. So my city is flooding. There was even a highway that ended up getting a hole in it. Like it pretty much collapsed. So I got the day off. <laughs> I've been sleeping, I've been eating. So I figured I need to probably go to the gym and get my life. I decided I wanted to try this new product. So this is the new Velvet Matte Skin Tint by NARS. It has the SPF of 30 and it's not really brand new. I think it's been out a few months, but there's been a lot of hype about it and I wanted to test it and see is it really worth it or no? Nah? Because this bad boy is $44. $44. However, you do get 1.7 ounces of product, so technically you're still getting a really good amount of product for that price. There are foundations that are $50 that you only get one ounce. So technically the price is not really that bad. It's just something to consider that it's $44. So I'm in the shade Alaska or Light 2. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really cute. I actually really like it. I I do prefer a pump just because I feel like you can get more product out of it but this is not terrible packaging I do really like this packaging it's very travel friendly so I'm gonna shake it up I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand I'm gonna start with that amount so it's very moussey I'm gonna apply it with my e.l.f. blending brush as always. Oh, and by the way, I've already you know cleaned my skin and prepped it. I did use my hourglass primer, and of course I did my brows. I've heard some really good stuff about this skin tint, but what exactly is it? Because NARS does have a tinted moisturizer already, so I guess this is not a tinted moisturizer. It's a skin tint with SPF. So to me, it is a tinted moisturizer and they probably didn't want to name it moist, uh, tinted moisturizer because they already have one. So no lie, I'm already loving it. Like it applies really seamlessly and to me it does blur imperfections. I didn't even read the back of the box for you guys. I'm a terrible person. This color matches me perfectly. So this color is really good for me. I really like it. It does blend very, very well. So that one pump that I put on, my, on the back of my hand is definitely gonna be more than enough. Like, I think it may be too much. I'm already almost done with my face and I still have that much left. I guess I should have put less. You know, I expected this to have less coverage, but it does have some de decent coverage. I would say it's medium coverage, but it looks like it can be buildable. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck. I'm not gonna use concealer today because I wanna only use this product on my skin, so I'm gonna also put this under my eyes so I can get a little coverage under my eyes. Y'all, I still have this left on the back of my hand and my face, like I don't think I could put any more on. You don't have to put as much as I did on the back of your hand when applying this skin tint, not foundation, this skin tint. Wow, this is so pretty, guys. This is really, really pretty. I think this would be perfect for a no makeup makeup look because even though you do get coverage out of it, it's very light. Like, it feels really light on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. So as of now, I really like it. It looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't look like I have foundation on, but it does look like I have something on. So it's not completely undetectable. Let me just read the box for you guys. So on the box it says, Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Efforts... efforts <laughs> This Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 effort effortlessly perfects and protects with a soft matte finish. I would say it is a soft matte. It's not completely matte. It's a tad dewy, but it just pretty much looks like skin. The oil-free formula wears comfortably, maintaining skin's natural moisture barrier while working to control shine throughout the day. Helps to blur imperfections, even the look of skin tone, and smooth the appearance of pores and fine lines. Soft matte, soft touch, simply glide and go. 
I would say that most of this is true. Now, I don't know how it's gonna wear during the day, but as of now, it, it really does just glide on effort, effortlessly. It does blur imperfections. It does have a soft matte finish, and to me, it really does look beautiful. So I'm gonna put this to the test. I'm gonna go to the gym, and even though it doesn't say that it's gonna last through the gym, I just wanna see how is it really gonna wear. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna catch up with you guys after I get back and we're gonna see how this really wears. I'm not gonna set it, I'm not gonna put any powder over it, no setting spray, no nothing. I'm just gonna go just like this and I will catch up with you guys when I get back. So I just finished my workout, I'm having my protein shake, and I feel like I look good. I mean, I just think my foundation looks great, or this skin tint, I feel like it looks great. It doesn't look like I have makeup on, it just, I felt like it looked better after like a few minutes, I guess after it really set. I really don't feel like I look like I have makeup on, and that could also be because the color I picked matches me so well, but guys, I am already loving this. I did a full hour workout. I lifted weights. I did some cardio. I did sweat and I did pat my sweat. I didn't wipe it. I did pat it and I don't feel like it left any kind of marks. I'm looking at it a little bit around my nose. I can see where it came off but that's because my nose was kind of running so I did wipe that a little more but other than that I feel like it looks fantastic. I'm gonna do a close-up so you guys can see. So this is a close-up and as you guys can see it looks great. I think this would be excellent foundation to wear for a festival or kind of like a no makeup makeup look. I think it looks fantastic and I think it's a great buy. But like I told you guys before, this foundation, I keep calling it foundation. This skin tint or what I would really like to call it, it's a tinted moisturizer even though NARS already has a tinted moisturizer. Pretty sure this is a tinted moisturizer. Um, it has SPF of 30, so this would be great to wear at a festival or if you're just going out for the day, even before a workout, if you're going to maybe a workout class and you don't wanna you know, look completely like dead, maybe you wanna have just a little bit of coverage for your workout class. Um, I actually hold a workout class every Saturday at 11 o'clock. Um, it's an all women's workout and I could actually see myself wearing this for my workout class. Again, to tell you guys, I am in the color Alaska and that is light two. I'm looking at the Sephora website right now. It comes in 12 different shades and it goes all the way to Polynesia, so that's a pretty deep shade. Okay guys, so that's my review on this. I would say it is a thumbs up. It is worth a $44 price. You have to also remember that it has 1.7 ounces of fluid. That is almost twice as much as a normal foundation. Um, it goes really far. I feel like one drop or one one squeeze of this skin tint gave me a great coverage and I really did put too much on the back of my hand so I would say be a little light you know put a little bit and then kind of build from there but I think this could last me all summer maybe through the fall really easily I mean this is a lot of product so thank you guys for watching please like Please subscribe. I am so excited to have done this because I was really thinking that this hype was gonna be not so great and I thought I was not gonna like this. I'm not a huge fan of tinted moisturizers. The only tinted moisturizer that I've ever liked was the Laura Mercier one. Any other ones that I've ever tried, I have not liked. So the bar was set pretty high on this and this is a thumbs up. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please like. Thumbs up, please subscribe, and until next time, 